What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to create this mask slash rotoscope transition. And this original transition was from the most recent V's signed a napkin music video where there was a lot of different creative mask and rotoscope transitions. I really liked this specific one because there's multiple layers overlapping to get this really sick transition. So with all that being said, let's get right into the video. All right. So here in After Effects, I'm going to be using this Lil Tecca music video in order to show that transition. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure you have four clips in total. We're going to rotoscope our layers. So grab your roto brush tool and then double click your layer. Then we're going to mask out our subject. After rotoscoping your subject, you want to then click the freeze button in order to actually lock in your rotoscope and then go back into the composition, increase the feather. So I'll increase that to 10 just to get softer edges for our subject and then decrease the shift edge. Let's decrease that to like negative 60. Grab this layer, duplicate it. And for this bottom one, I'll just rename it to BG for background. Delete the rotor brush effect. So for this first part of this transition, we're going to have our rotoscope layer at the top, and then we're going to have two masked out layers behind our subject, then the actual background layer, which is just a normal clip. We're going to duplicate this background layer twice. And then I'll just solo this layer. So just click this dot right here. Then we're going to mask out a part of this layer and have it behind our rotoscope layer, similar to the, how they did it in the V's music video. So grab your rectangle tool and then open up your proportional grid. I'm just going to mask out and have our subject, you know, actually be able to see the face of our subject and then grab this mask, click control C and then paste it onto the other layer that we duplicated. So you can also solo that layer as well. Then grab the position for both of these layers. Oops, I selected the wrong one. Grab this one, actually unsell both of the layers. And what I'm going to do is just move this a little more towards the left and then move the other one towards the right so that we can see both of these layers. And you want to also make sure that there's like no gap between the two masked out layers. So I'll just move that a little more towards the right and then just grab these two layers, probably just bring it down. So now we have the two duplicate mass layers, and then the rotoscope layer on the top. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is create that freeze frame effect. Once you move on to the second clip, duplicate this layer, click control D, and then right click the layer, go to time, then click freeze frame. And what that does is turn the first frame of the second clip into a still image. Cut this layer to two frames, bring it back so that it overlaps with the first clip. The next thing we're going to do is grab this pen tool and mask out our subject. So once you mask out your subject, click your layer and click M twice in order to open up the mask settings. I'll just increase the mask feather just by a little. I'll increase that to two and then decrease the mask expansion to like negative two. And if you don't want to see the outline of your mask, you just click this button right here, just turns it off so that you can actually see how the edges of your subject looks. So now we have that overlap effect for this freeze frame transition. And what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer. But before we do that, I'm going to bring it back another two frames. And then we're going to duplicate this layer, bring that forward two frames. And for this one, instead of having the mask add add, we're going to have it at subtract. So it literally just subtracts the masked out layer and we're able to still see the first clip. So that way it creates that like overlap effect. And this is what we have for a transition so far. Next thing we're going to do is go forward eight frames and then bring the next clip back so that it overlaps with this layer as well. Duplicate this layer, we're gonna do the same thing. Right click, go to time, freeze frame that layer and make sure this layer is only two frames long. Then you're going to mask out your subject. So after masking out your subject, bring this layer back two frames adjust the mask settings for this one i'll just increase the mask feather to three and then let's also decrease the mask expansion decrease that to negative five bring this layer back another two frames and for this one we want to have it four frames apart from the first freeze frame layer so just go forward four frames then we're going to duplicate this layer bring that forward two frames open up the mask change this one to subtract so this is what we have for a transition so far and what I'm going to do is just do the same thing for the final clip, go forward eight frames and then bring that final clip back, cut the timeline. This is what we have for the final transition. Really simple to do and I think it looks really clean, but that is all I have for this video. If you guys have any video suggestions, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to look into it. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.